While current and former government officials are warning, there could be some legal hur hurdles to trying to designate Antifa as a terrorist organization. Jay Johnson served as Home Secu Homeland Security Secretary under President Obama. Here he is. The State Department has the authority to designate a foreign terrorist organization as such. There is no legal authority in the United States Code or the Constitution to designate a domestic movement as a terrorist organization. Former Congressman Trey Gowdy chaired the House Oversight Committee and is a former federal prosecutor. Great to have him on the program to talk about this. Good to see you. Um, let's you. start with what those complications would be. You heard the former Homeland Secretary Jay Johnson talking about legally, how do you designate Antifa as a terrorist organization? I don't think anyone knows. I, I, I don't think there's a protocol for identifying domestic groups as terrorists. And then, you know, kind of, kind of the, the more important question is practically, what does that designation accomplish? I mean, if Bill Barr were to tell us, Harris, mm. that if I get this designation, I'm going to have access to charges I don't currently have, and I'm going to have access to investigative techniques I don't currently have, then I'm open-minded, then, then, then tell me more. But we already have something called conspiracy, which is an agreement, tacit or otherwise, between two people to commit uh, a criminal act. And it doesn't even necessarily need to be an overt act. So you, you've already got mayhem, you've got rioting, you've got anti-gang statutes, mm -hmm. you've got arson statutes. What do you get from this designation that you don't currently have? That would be my practical question. All right. You know, having been a chairman of the Oversight Committee, I, I know that it comes up that you would know if there are other groups that the nation would be watching, that our federal law enforcement would be watching. Outside of Antifa, who else makes the short list? Well, I learned more on Judiciary and the Intelligence Committee probably than I did oversight. And what I would tell, you know, your viewers is, you know, depending on who's in power is who you consider a terrorist group to be. Uh, there are some on the left who consider the life movement to be domestic terrorists. So, so I think we need to be very, very careful because we may not always mm -hmm. be in power. We have elections every four years. Do you really want the U.S. government being able to declare certain entities where you disagree with their orthodoxy or philosophy to be terrorist entities? Uh, and, and I'm a pro-law enforcement guy. So if Bill Barr says yes, I need this designation for the following reasons. I'm open to hear it, but, but I'm not aware of any statute he can't use now uh, that this designation would all of a sudden empower. So use what you have to stop what's happening in these cities. 90% of all crime, Harris, 90% is state and local. It's not federal. So, so if Minnesota is having a problem, are you, is your argument really that you lack sufficient statutes now uh, to, to solve the public safety okay. issue?